early morning in the office and I realized today is a monumental day for me, a day of celebration. It's been almost two years, exactly two years, I had my major brain injury. And in the last year, I've had major issues sleeping. I've had to change my room and uh, soundproofing it. I've uh, had some sort of sleeping aid pumping through my body every night for the last year. I uh, think different things that would always wake me up, everything from nightmares to a feather falling outside my room would wake me up and then I couldn't sleep again. The last night was the seventh night in a row I have slept without a sleeping aid in the last year. Um, so the reason it's monumental is the neurosurgeon had once told me that once I can hit that seven days in a row, uh, you know you're going to recover and from that point on, as long as you keep doing the right things, it will be exponential recovery from that point on. Now, in these two years, I have learned many things. But the one thing I want to share with you, actually two things, I just realized right now looking at the camera that I need to water one of my plants in the office. The second thing is the fork in the road that we hit in every relationship in our life. And these are moments. We hit them with our children, we hit them with our spouses, our partners, our friends, we hit them with our co clients, co-workers, doesn't matter if it's personal or professional, right? And there's a fork in the road where you try to understand somebody for who they are, or you have to accept them for who they are. Now, I'm a big believer in taking the time to understand where an individual is coming from, understand why they're behaving in a certain way answering the question why, why somebody does what they do. But that being said, there will come a time, and we've all faced this in the little things and the main big things, where we just cannot understand why somebody would do what they would do. Be it our spouse, our children, our clients, our coworkers, why somebody would say what they would say, why somebody would behave in the way they do. That's when you have to decide the value of your relationship. If it's a relationship that you really value and you want it for the long term and it's critical for you, then there comes a time when you have to put that understanding aside and just accept them for who they are. You've got to accept your child for who they are and more so what they're going through at that moment in time, be it as a teenager. You have to accept what your spouse is going through, the changes they might be going through for a circumstance in their life. Uh, you might not understand it at all because here's what happens psychologically. When a person feels that they're accepted for what they're going through, they will in turn go out of their way to make sure you understand why. And when you can understand why from that element, from that fork in the road, it will fundamentally change your relationship for the rest of your life with your children, your spouse, with your clients, with your coworkers, because you have connected at a different level. And the reason for that, again, psychologically, is the human mind's greatest need is to be understood. At a level where we know most people do not understand us. So when somebody can connect with us at that level, you have a different kind of relationship. And in my opinion, in life, you only need few of those relationships. And you have a few of those, you have a very healthy, successful life. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to go celebrate today. I don't think I'm going to turn this thing on.